Hey guys, on this video I'm going to show you how to create a 3D lettering design using mainly Cinema 4D and Photoshop. The PSD and the Cinema 4D working files will be available on my Patreon page for all the members. I will leave a link in the description. So we start by creating a world in Illustrator which will be used in Cinema 4D. Create a path based on the lettering used in the pen tool. Remove all the objects and just keep the path without any stroke. Then save the file as Illustrator 8 file. Merge the Illustrator file into a Cinema 4D document. Increase the size of the word if needed. Then convert the path into a 3D object. First add a sweep and then a circle shape. The size of the circle will be the width of the letter so adjust the radius to change it. Move the circle into the sweep and then the path below it. With the sweep selected on Caps tab, increase the size and the segments. Copy the sweep with a circle and have one for each path. With the sweep selected on Basic tab, tick the X-ray box to make the anchor points of the path visible. Adjust the points to improve the curves of the path. You can either rotate or move each point depending which command you have selected. Add material to the objects. Add a render preview area to be able to see how it will be after rendering. Then add the light to the scene and change the position. Add shadows to the light and duplicate it to add more lights. Add a sphere for the dot on the I letter. And change the size of the sphere to match the letters. Double click on the material to adjust the appearance. Now adjust the render settings and render the design. After the rendering, you can open the PNG file in Photoshop for further editing. Add a dark background. Create some signs using the pen tool and a smooth brush. First create some strokes using the paths and then take the brush tool and add a smooth grading spot. Then add a stroke using a circular selection. Create some more stroke details using the pen tool.
Add an image for the background and change the mode to saturation to make it less visible. Increase the contrast with a curves adjustment layer. Try another color with a hue and saturation adjustment layer. Finally, add a color lookup adjustment layer to try some more color adjustments. And that was it. Let me know if you have any questions on the comments below and don't forget to like, share and subscribe. See you on the next video.